What's going on team? It's Ricky with TechFood Solutions here with another video on an oversold cheap stock. All we ever ask you to do is if you like these videos, please make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't done so already and turn on those post notifications so you get alerted when it is that we either go live and or upload a new video. The stock that I want to talk about today is Wish. Wish reported earnings yesterday and simply looking at the four hour time frame you could see what an aggressive pullback this was based off of where it used to trade at, right below the SMA line. So from where we're at as of right now, if Wish were to simply make a recovery, that's about 50%. But let's look at the big picture. On the day chart, you could see how oversold Wish is. Yesterday, it made all-time lows at 669 and previous highs was a little bit above $33 a share. So you can see, again, this isn't. This does not mean that Wish has to make a full recovery, but from where we're at right now, if it were to make a full recovery, that would be over 300%. But the thing that I'm realistically looking at is if it were just to simply return to previous highs of $13, which it just was at, that's over 80% return, which is why I'm talking about Wish. So first off, what caused Wish stock to drop 20%? Well, it reported earnings yesterday and it missed earnings. You guys could see that it's Q2 2021 earnings or earnings per share was missed by 3% and the revenue was missed by 9%. So what was the catalyst of this? Well, based off of an article I read, and please make sure that you do your own due diligence as well, is the e-commerce company says that demand slowed and costs rose more than expected. The thing that I find very interesting is that Wish was a company that did exceptionally well during pandemic conditions, right? And then they decided to go public. You guys could see that they began to trade publicly in the market uh, right around early 2021. And the really cool thing about this is that obviously they were coming off of just a, a great catalyst, which is the pandemic. Because again, a lot of online shopping happened and Wish being an online e-commerce platform, you can only imagine that again, it was peaking demand at that current time. So it made sense on why IPO'd, but ever since then, just like many other e-commerce companies, we've seen this even with the tech giant, right? Amazon, where it peaked during the pandemic. And as we transition back to normal, demand levels begin to pull on back. So this is what we're seeing as of right now. One of the things that I did read based off of the series of different articles that have been made on Wish is that because of this unfortunate earnings report, right? Being able to see that demand slowed down and that cost rose, they use this as a learning experience. And now they have a better understanding on how to be able to make sense of this to lead to a more successful quarter, which is something that I think looks promising for future investors. But as of right now, asking that magical question, is Wish a buy right now? One of the things that we have to be very open about is that Wish has been pulling on back ever since its peak. Its current direction is bearish. It's lower highs and lower lows. So let's not pretend that we can predict the future, right? The thing that I find super interesting about Wish and the reason I'm making this video about it is because of how much upside potential there is, which is great. But guess what? We do not have any confirmation just yet. So we are not indicating signs of higher highs or higher lows or anything like that. It doesn't mean that we can't. It just means that we have not. And because Wish has so much upside margin, this should only encourage us to not force and rush into buying the dip. I get it if it only had you know a couple percent, but when it offers 300% in potential recovery, why am I going to try to aggressively buy the dip with all of my money? and hope it randomly begins to recover. Why not play it safe? Why not wait for proper indication of a reversal? Why not wait and have proper intent? So what I'm going to be doing is I want to set effective alerts. It doesn't mean that you have to do the same thing, but one of the things that I want to do is I want to follow up with Wish stock when it actually begins to show signs of growth so I can slowly begin to buy into Wish therefore adding more to my position as it begins to indicate signs of recovery. Because there's so much recovery potential, this should only encourage us to play it more on the conservative side and wait for confirmation rather than blindly buying the dip when this stock can easily still sell off. One of the things that we always love to share is that just because a stock is oversold and just because a stock is cheap 
doesn't mean that that makes it a buy. It just, you know, based off of the way that I see it is, now I just find Wish attractive enough to add it to my watch list to set effective alerts so I follow up with it that when it meets my criteria, I can actually decide to buy. So it's not about buying it now, it's about buying it when it makes sense. So let's set alerts on both sides, an alert if it breaks above uh, that previous resistance level and an alert if it breaks below previous lows. So now I have the best of both worlds. So if you guys see value and wish, feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure to add it to your watch list if it's something that you wanna follow up with. And if it's not, then again, the whole point of these videos are not for you to agree with every stock that you know should be blindly um, invested in, but for you to cherry pick, we're, and we're always here to encourage you to do so, for you to cherry pick the stocks that make the most sense to you and to only follow up with the ones that again, you see value in. So I really do appreciate you guys' time. I hope that I earned your thumbs up in this video. Please consider subscribing. And if you guys haven't done so already, I do upload new videos every single day. So feel free uh, to check those out. Also, one of the things that I do want to remind you is that we are having a mouse pad sale. And if you guys haven't visited our shop tech bud site, we have one of the best selling trading mouse pads and aluminum art. So if you guys want to check that out, that's the third link in the description. And we do have a promo code for you that will apply at checkout. All you have to do is visit the website and that promo code should pop up for you guys to get 15% off your entire order. And of course, free shipping within the United States. We will see you for our live trading session on Monday at Market Open. And if you guys want to join us, that's that second link in the description. Until then, like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.